It's like an old, it's like a, the beat that everybody does when they des in high school. Boo, pat, boo, pat, boo, pat, pat, boo, pat, da, da, boo, pat. Putting a funk, their head nod in it. You're not gonna get me to just sing Gucci Time or PSK. Here we are, the plateau. And if you really wanted to know about Philly hip hop back in the day, this was the place to be. And as you know, the reason why they call it the plateau has the best view of the city. Basically, the hilltop is, there used to be a gang, then it was a baseball team. It's a section of the city, which is 59th and Lands Day. So we just took it and put it in and made it to a, a rap organization. And so instead of gang fighting, you know, we just, we can rap about stuff. Back in the day, we were also rocking parties. It wasn't just about us scratching. So you made them this little slip up. You know what I'm saying? Girls are gonna look at you like, you ain't gonna get nothing for the night. You know what I mean? <laughs> you are actually gonna see me before the children. It's when I was slim and trim, okay? I was a player, player. <laughs> now my mommy, mommy, and wifey, wifey. Got the gazelle. Yeah, I mean, flashback, 1984 again. <laughs> I just kept saying, it was like five in the morning, just kept saying, add more reverb, add more reverb. And we woke up and I thought I was crazy. So I actually begged this woman, and when I say begged, I got on my knees. You know, like, Miss Mason, please let me play it on the radio, you know, please. At 10 o'clock on Friday nights, they would go up to the roof with the antennas and hold like tin foil up and, and take turns holding the antenna so that they could get the tape of Street Beat and that's what they would listen to through the week. We at the Wynn Ballroom, 54th in Arlington, West Philly. This is home of the Will Smiths, the Scanner Boys. Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince forever! Jeff and Will, they met like within this realm up here at Winfield. Um, it was like, Will was a part of a crew called the Hypnotic Four. And they, these guys, they were in, they were so into the uh, Melly Mel, Cold Crust type era. They had zipper pants and bandanas with feathers in them and everything. He did something completely opposite of what was going on. And nobody really thought that he would make it, not even myself. When they talk about Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince nationally, they have a feeling, they think it's Will Smith, and they don't understand it. Jazzy Jeff, the world champion, you know, um, cut and scratch it. <laughs> that was it back in the day. That was, that's what you call old school, the earrings. You know, you, you were sexy by, you know, sporting a little nice little mini skirt or another MCM outfit, something like that, you know? And they had to go out and get all butt naked like these girls get now. Here I am, I'm an artist. Here I am, I'm a rapper. It's like, it was the rap industry. <laughs> he was doing that shit on the fly, trust me. A lot of my, everybody I know that made it was selling shit out their trunk first. Cats out of Philadelphia always came harder and better because they had to to get recognized. We just did whatever it took to get where we had to go. If it meant managing the group to make sure that they came to rehearsals and recorded their records, that's what we did. You know, if it meant getting the record played, that's what we did. If it meant recording it, that's what we did. So all these things we got, experience on the job. The major labels saw that hip hop was making money on a small scale. They saw that it was starting to blow up. And they saw what Russell Simmons was doing and said, I want some of that money, you know, and I have the resources where I'm able to do that. And they, and they made it happen. They just didn't know the music and they didn't care enough about the people that were making the music to get to know the music. You know, it was just a dollar bill for them. You have to understand if a major company puts out a record and it doesn't hit, it's a tax write-off. You know, as opposed to a guy with his own label struggling and his record don't hit, it's over. I can never lose my BKD, bring the beat back. Looking at my Gucci, it's about, about that, that time. time. Come on, you know that song, no front. I am the Magnificent. Smile, smile, whose world is this? Smile, 
this Smile, 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 whose girl is this? Big, 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 big
Versus those the other one. Black Pop goes to us. Yeah. 